Hello everyone and welcome to the next episode of Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. You'll notice I'm in a slightly different spot and that's because once you quit the game, it put- Whoa. Whoa. Why is- Okay, I don't know why it was shaking, but anyways. You'll notice that I was in a different spot and that's because when you quit the game, it puts you back to the entrance to Grunty's lair. But, enough talking about that, we're gonna be going up here to a note door. This is not- this is- this is a note door! I'm already failing so terribly, but Grunty with one of her powerful musical spells! Open it up then, Jam Jars! It's not that simple! To open it, you must collect the musical notes from the world. How many do we need? The number on the door is the strength of the spell. The combined total of all your best note scores from the worlds must be at least this, to break Grunty's magic. Well, luckily we have a hundred, so we're definitely getting past this door. I love that. <laughs> I used to do that when I was a kid, too. That door was easy you got past. Unfortunately, you're first and last. You talk a lot. Now, once you enter this room, you're gonna notice that it is a little bit different. A little... claustrophobic, maybe. You'll notice there's something up there, you'll notice there's this guy, and these are the baddies that she was talking about. These will be inhabiting the hub world, if you will. But we're gonna be first talking to this over here. What? What is this? Oh, and... No, no, we... No. Damn it, Grunty! There we go. Hello there, young ones. I'm Brentilda, Gruntilda's nicest sister. I've crept down here to help you defeat the old hag. It's about time she was taught a lesson. I know all of Grunty's disgusting secrets, and I'll tell you three of them every time you find me. Remember them well, young one, as they will help you avoid a fiery fate. So, Brentilda is going to be scattered across the hub world that is Gruntilda's lair, and she will help us actually defeat Gruntilda, and you'll find out at the end why talking to her is helpful, but I'm going to be showing you where all of her locations are at while we make our way across Gruntilda's lair. Grunty brushes her rotten teeth with tuna ice cream flavored toothpaste. Gross! <laughs> she also washes her hair with baked beans. Yuck! And she gets her clothes from Saggy Maggie's boutique. Ugh! It's disgusting! You're actually gonna find out a lot of nasty stuff with Gruntilda, but before we go and explore any more around here, we're gonna go down here real quick because you'll find this. You've activated a magic cauldron. Find two of the same color to create a shortcut. Now these are actually extremely helpful, and if you go behind him, there is a mumbo token. Now the reason you're gonna wanna find these cauldrons is because they're gonna let you go through Grunty's uh, lair much faster. And if you go over here, this is Kazooie's shock jump disc. Find me, and I'll tell you how to use it. So we can't use that yet, but I think that's enough exploring this world. Let's go over here, or this pub world. Let's open up a new world. To remove pieces that you have already put down, press the down C button. Once the picture is complete, all the pieces are stuck there permanently. And we obviously do not want to do that, so we're just gonna paste all of them in there. So this is actually probably one of my favorite worlds, I think just because it's so happy. That's probably the reason. That's probably the best reason you'll ever hear is because it's so happy. That was horribly unfunny. So we have a little bit more exploring to do before we actually go to the next level. Now you notice over here that there is there's a hole that we can go inside. Shut up, Texty. And there's another hole that we can go inside. Shut up, Texty. We're gonna want to go in here and be careful when you jump out because 90% of the time that dude is totally waiting to kill you. You've activated a magic cauldron! Yeah, yeah, magic cauldron. Now you'll notice that if we try to go inside of this guy... That sounded wrong. Nothing's gonna happen. That's because the one we found earlier does not connect to this one, because obviously, you know, different colors. I'm teaching you colors! Ah. Uh, you grab that mumbo token up there. But, you know, this is just a preliminary, I guess, if you will. If I even use that word correctly. I don't think I used that word correctly, whatever. If you go up here, you'll notice that there is another magical note door, but we can't break it because we don't have enough notes. So, go down here and we can get to the next world, which is... 
Treasure Trove Cove, yo. They don't need to do any exploring around here, because there honestly isn't anything. There's no mumbo tokens or nothing like that, but there will be something for us when we come out of it. Ahoy there! This be Treasure Trove Cove! There be two new moves for ye to find! Shut up, Bottles. Bottles is like... Meg. Nobody likes Meg. Oh my god, a shark! Eat eggs! That- oh, oh, oh! I don't know if I killed him. Anyways. <laughs> when I was a kid, that used to freak- oh god, that used to freak me out so bad. Uh, Snackers I think is his name? Man, he creeped me out so badly. But, you know, now that I'm a man, nothing freaks me out. I get the feeling that that would kind of freak Valor out if she played this game. Now I want Valor to play this game. But anyways, oh, actually, before we go over there, if you go to the right, you'll notice that there is a huge body of water. Not as big as the ocean, but, you know, there's water, and there's a little sand castle, and there's really nothing we can do over here yet, so we're going to be coming back. We're going to go over here to where there's a giant crab. <laughs> Crustacean, whatever. I, I, I don't know. Something like that. Hey, this Nippers Beach, you find nothing without Nippers help. Help us then, Crustacean Brain. I use horrible voices. Grr, cheeky bird, need feather clipping. Oh yeah? Just try it, Shellhead. Oh man, Kazooie. Dang, Kazooie. This is probably the easiest thing you're ever going to do. Basically, Snippers will snip three times and then you can just do this. That's... That's it. There's, there's seriously nothing else for you to do. That's There you go. See? That was easy. Now, before we go in there, if you go behind the shell, there is a mumbo token. So there are definitely more mumbo tokens in the entire game than you need, but I'm going to be trying to get as many of them as I can. Hopefully all. If I can get all of them, I'm going to be very happy. Because I, I don't know if I've ever gotten them all. But I'm hoping. And anyways, in other news, just we're kind of like talking about something random right here. But, I built my new computer yesterday, but I'm recording this probably a month before you're ever going to see this Let's Play, so I, you know, I built my computer like a month ago. And this thing is so epic, but there was a problem with it, and, you know, it was kind of a pain. What happened was one of the fans in the back of the computer actually messed up, so it sounded like a vacuum cleaner was on the whole time. And it was really annoying because, you know, it hurt my ear super badly, and I was like, Oh no, what am I gonna do with this? So, it, it, that was a horrible story, now that I think about it. So, just forget about that horrible story, and we're gonna just pretend like nothing happened. So, if you go out here, you'll notice that there's a pirate ship. And you'll see there is... There's a guy over there, and he doesn't look too happy. He looks a little sad, so we're gonna not... Well, we're gonna fall off the tree, but that's not what I meant to do. We're gonna go and investigate that in a second, but first, you're gonna definitely want to get all of these notes on the trees, because I just found that they're really easy to forget about if you don't get them right away. Go up these conveniently stacked boxes, and you'll find our first move in the new world. You'll reach new heights with my shock jump spring. Does Kazooie do it? My legs are tired. Don't worry, the turkey does all the work. Simply stand on a shock jump disc, then press and hold A. Extremely simple, no Kazooie dialogue, slightly sad about that. Jump up, easy mumbo. Wait, you can boke him. There we go, I am losing my mind right now. Now, jump down here, and you'll notice that there is a little bucket. Me leaky, no good for water. Can bear a block hole with pebble? So, even when I was a kid, this confused me. Why do eggs patch a bucket? I honestly... I, how is he draining the water when he's not by the water? I don't... I, I don't know. Now, you're gonna want to make sure that you jump over here so it's easier for you to get, you know, the notes on your first try. So you don't have to forget about them and come back and be like, Oh no, I need like four more notes. Oh man, where are they? And then you find out they're at a place that you're already at. And there's four more inside of here. Now, normally when I would play this when I was a kid, I would usually save this one for last because I'd actually forget about it. Hey, Furball, you're looking wise. Solve my puzzle and you can have my balls. Didn't mean to say that. So this actually confused me really bad when I was a kid. Until I found out that Banjo-Kazooie, that's what you had to- Oh no, my computer went to sleep! 
Forget that happened. So, all you have to do is just spell out Banjo-Kazooie. It's really not that difficult. But when I was a kid, uh, I honestly didn't know that Banjo-Kazooie was on the wall. So I was like, I had a lot of trouble spelling Kazooie because I was eight, you know? Of course I'm going to have trouble spelling Kazooie when you're an eight-year-old. But the way that I did it, because I didn't know it was on the wall, is my N64 was really far away from me. So I would just like... <laughs> get to the Kazooie part, and I'd be like, K, A, Z, and then I'd just like, run up to my N64, and I'd look at the cartridge that was sticking out, I was like, oh, okay, I need to do that one. And I was such a boss kid, I did everything so epically. E -e 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 -e. So we totally just- Oh, come on! I- Never had that happen before. Die! There we go. Alright, so anyways, there's our second Jiggy of the world. I don't think we're making great progress, to be completely honest. Hoping we can get some more done here. But anyway, oh god. I need to stop hitting things. Anyways, guys, I, I really hope you are enjoying this Let's Play. I honestly can't remember if I said that already, but I'm hoping I didn't. Anyways, guys, we're gonna go up to the pirate ship. And before we, before we see what's going on with this guy, we're actually going to go up here to reveal another Mumbo token! And now we can talk to him. Ahoy there, I'm Captain Blubber and I lost my treasure when my ship crashed. Well, go find it then, Blubber Guts! Uh, but I can't swim. Can you help an old sea hippo? Sure, we'll find it for you. See, honestly, I, I never understood that. Why couldn't a hippo swim? I just... See, a lot of things bothered me when I was a kid, that being one of them. I was like, why can't he just go get it when it's right underneath of this ship? But you know, he can't swim, I totally just burped there on accident. Ahoy there, I be Blubber's treasure. I always love that. I loved it when you would just find something like the orange or the gold, and they just randomly say something, it made me happy. <laughs> I'm such a loser. Oh, but I loved it. I loved it so much. So right after you get that one, try to avoid him, because we don't want to throw the gold at him yet. We want to wait until we have more gold. Now I'm debating on whether I'm going to make this video a little bit over 15 minutes. I'd like to get to five jiggies and then end it, so wish me luck! Go over here, and there is the last piece of gold. See, honestly, when I was a kid, I wasn't sure if I needed to get more, so I kind of just like kept going on through the level. Like, I didn't go back to him. I was like, is there more gold? Is that seriously it? But, you know, that was a really stupid mistake on my part. But I fixed it. I fixed it at the very end of the level after I did everything else. Sup, Blubber Guts? And there we go. Me treasure, thank you, me hearties. Take this reward. I'm off to span, span, span. Gotta shop till you drop, bro. Yeah! Shop till you drop. Thanks, bro. Alright, so after you've got that, I like to go up here, get all these jiggies, and ooh, what's this? Whee! I'm a red feather! I help Kazooie fly when she knows how! Are we... Are we gonna be learning how to fly? Holy crap! And there's a ginger up there, by the way. Second move of the world! What's it gonna be? This is your big chance, chicken legs. It's time for you to fly. At last! It better be easy, bog eyes. Simple enough, even for you, bird brain. Just stand on a flying disc and press A. Here's 25 red feathers to help you into the air. So ya! Nice going! You've learned all the cove's new moves. Thanks, Brohim. Now, what I like to do first is go over here, and you'll notice that there is a little uh, treasure chest with teeth. It's not a very nice looking treasure chest, but he is holding a Jiggy inside. That golden treasure was for me. Now harder still the game will be. That was horrible. That was honestly horrible. You should be ashamed at how horrible that was. <laughs> Nonetheless, after you have that Jiggy, we can go over here, get our fourth Jiggy, as well as a Jinjo up these- Oh, guys, in case you don't know, a lot of people seem to ask me this. I honestly don't- Oh, <laughs> Almost fell, by the way. I don't know why, but a lot of people are like, are you doing these live, or, you know, like a live commentary, or are these posts? Um, 
all of my Let's Play videos after, you know, ever since about 2011, or the end of 2011, or no, the beginning of 2011, were all live commentary because I just found those to be easier. And you'll notice, if you look over there, there are some notes, but we're actually going to be passing those up, guys. I know some of you are like, why you passed this up? Just trust me. Just trust me. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Oh, dang, we got five already? Oh, guys, actually, I think I'm going to end the video here. I could probably go get more, but I think the length of this video is good. So, anyways, guys, please give a thumbs up to this video if you enjoyed it. Uh, it really means a lot to me when you thumbs up the video. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave your comments in the comment section below. As you know, I do love reading the comments. I will see you guys on part four. I think we're on part four. I can't remember. Anyways, guys. I will see you on the next episode. My name is Banana Pyloid.